the freaking haters in each university are telling me I'm trying to spend their money. Buy the gear and tell the story makes a difference. I was I love this street. opportunity. This is making me very happy. I am hoping that the mainstream media and social media continues to shit on technology. Because what that's going to mean is people are going to back off of it, they're going to get confused about that, and it's going to leave me more time to grab the land supply that I'm looking for. I prefer when people are going down paths that are the conventional wisdom that I don't agree with. challenges, issues, anything, including even prospecting, because our recruits will bring in the business. I argue that right now, more than ever, branding, PR, marketing, business development, and HR and recruiting are all tied into one. Every single day, we highlight an employee. We either focus on what makes them special, not necessarily what they do on a daily basis, but what makes them special, who they are. We broadcast that on different mediums. I, you, you've had a cool acronym before. Mine is like always be recruiting, right? Like always be closing. Well, it's if you're always recruiting, you're always looking for that next person. And part of that is you have to know that they're not just choosing to work for a company anymore. They're choosing to work for you. And I think as a, as a newer agency owner, gaining that perspective and yeah. being surrounded by individuals in a group like this of selflessness is so beneficial. You know, this is what I mean. I've heard the word selflessness tossed around a lot, and I, I don't understand what the alternative is, right? Like, I mean, like, you know, what I mean, I'm, I, I don't. Here's what I mean by that is, is. I mean, are you that insecure in your own abilities to execute on your ideas, right? Like, do you honestly think that, like, if you told somebody that they're going to do it better than you, like, I mean, everyone's afraid to shit, like, other outside of this group. I mean, like, where we don't see this as a common thing in the industry is that people are so afraid to share because, oh, they think somebody's going to steal their idea because, one, it's so good, that's debatable. Two, um, you know, are they even going to have the ability to execute on it, right? Welcome. Innovation. What makes our group and what makes our collection of people so special is that regardless of how long you've been in business, there are people here who will selflessly share and help one another. Go to a meeting with your peers in Knoxville. Yeah. Nobody's going to share. 
Yes, it's not happening. Yeah. It's so, so it was a great way to lead off this conference with him as the first main speaker. Mm -hmm. Because for me, I the whole theory, and, and this has probably been said 100 times, and it's going to be said 200 times more. Mm -hmm. you, you can either work in your business or on your business. Mm -hmm. I was somebody that was solely in my business. Mm -hmm. But then knew the importance of working on the business, so I would work harder or longer to try and fill in the, the on in times that didn't really fit when I was in. Right. And it was like, okay, I can't do both at the same time to the extent that I want. Right. So I need to figure out ways to retrain my clients, mm -hmm. to utilize some of these other um, avenues that we have, to utilize my staff more. Mm -hmm. Um, I need to empower my staff to do some more leg work and selling and that's kind of why I did some of these videos yeah. is so that they can utilize these things and I don't feel like it's something I have to do. Whoa, hey! What are you doing here? That's like a cardinal sin. More winners! Hey. Hey. I'll take it. <laughs> I will totally take that as a different Life achievement unlocked! Boom! I want to talk to you today about changing your thinking. This defines the insurance business. We're in the business to take to protect risk, but hey, nobody wants to take it. We might make a mistake, we might look bad, we might lose money. That's what's killing us. So I want to tell everybody, it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to innovate. It's okay to put yourself out there. You're allowed, all right? I want everybody to say, I'm allowed. Awesome. Don't know? I like the keynote. Oh, this is good. Did I challenge you? Did I stretch your mind a bit? I know your mind's hard well, to I stretch mean, because I, well, you, see, you know I, everything, I was right? Say, well, no, I'm just saying, I, I mean, you've been stretching my mind. This is going to sound weird for a while, so I kind of know where, okay. how, how, how far you've been pulling, so. Okay, good, good, I mean, good. So, yeah, I mean, I like, the, I like the Google stuff, man. I'm a big, I'm a big voice person, so. Uh, so what do you think the audio search has has legs then? You thought, I, but I mean, do you have do you have a bunch of devices in your house? Uh, I have an Alexa. So as okay. soon as I found out, and again, I was working on this audio search. Uh, my keynote last year in January, I wanted to say, how would Excalibur show up in an audio search? Yeah. Because uh, a guy named uh, I think Kashik Patel, I think his name, he's a really good SEO guy. Yeah. He mentioned that search is going to become more audio. Thirty percent will be done audio in the next year, and I yeah. had no, I had never thought about that until I read the blog. Yeah. And. Uh, you know, 70% will be done by Google. And a lot of people said, wow, with audio, nobody's going to search. That's actually wrong. Yeah, There's going to be more search yeah. because you can be in your car searching. You can be in your living room. Any time can turn into a search. It drives me nuts when people, again, every time something new happens, they're like, that's not going to happen, right? Okay, yeah. great. I don't know if it is or it's not, but I can tell you that you know, I put my put Google Home, as soon as it came out, basically, I bought one in my house last year, and yeah. it, nobody used it. Yeah. Not uh, using it at all? No. Well, so for the first six months, right? It's just like, what is this thing? I don't want to talk to a little air freshener. Like, yeah, I don't want to yeah. talk to this thing. <laughs> air freshener. Uh, uh, slowly, you know, after that six months, they kind of got into it. Now we've got eight of them in the house, and we got the kids' ones in their own room. I mean, like, it allows different people in different ages to interact with it. And, yeah. uh, I mean, they play music through it all the time. I mean, so they're going to grow up. I mean, my, my one-year-old son said Google before he said Dad, which is the biggest failure of my entire life. But, yeah, yeah. Um, but, it's I mean, like, they're, they're growing up in an environment where that is... Like, that's all they know. When is insurance going to be embedded on right. these audio devices? You know, it's not going to happen today. I don't, we, we did the Google Home quote and it blew a lot of minds, right. but it, it's saying the fact that I can do it is great. I wanted to prove it, but I don't plan on writing a ton of policies well, in the first exactly, month. Exactly, right, and that's people saying, oh, Jeff, this is ridiculous, right? You're asking yeah. too many questions. Of course you're asking, you know, it's like, is that going to be the final thing? But we, but we have to get through that to get to the final thing, exactly, right? Like, exactly. we can't, like, we can't, let's, let's put it this way. I mean, in, at some point in time, you will say, hey, Google, Hey Alexa, yeah. my phone just went off. I need a quote for car insurance or whatever. And there's yeah. going to be enough systems talking to each other where they're going to have everything they need and they're going to spit you back a number. That's enough yeah. Google. Let's fast forward because we're just going to be to the point where you're probably not even going to have to ask. Yeah. But we have to spend the next 15, 20 years asking to get to the point to not ask. Now it's time to go to work. <laughs>